What's up, guys? Sorry for that disastrous stream earlier. Now we should be good. It's we will be good. It's night. Nobody's gonna call me at night. <laughs> Let me just get this set up. We're gonna pick up right where we left off. We'll play this for a little while until the Call of Duty update comes out, which probably isn't gonna be much of anything, but once it's uh, installable, we'll put that down and uh, we'll see what's new over there. Let me just get this set up. I don't know what's up with my creator app lately. Yeah, I know something went wrong. Every time I refresh it, that's all it says, something went wrong. This isn't working. Alright, screw it. Let's play. I should take us right back where we were. Which, if I'm not mistaken, was going to visit his dead wife's grave. I think it was the mission we were up to. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, Boozer. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North. Yeah. Or take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. This place is a death trap. Okay, so he's warned me, like, I don't even know how many times not to do this in the daytime. Sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing What am I gonna do? Like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Man, he said his bike's got a red tank on it. And he was wearing some kind of cross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive. Alive. You catch this man, then radio him. We fetch him, hang the bastard right from that man. By the time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this cave. No offense, but you 
yourself. I'm taken. We're on target. Okay, one nest done. How many more you got? A big ass mess and nothing came out of it. You there? I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can. I think you'll like it. Oh, booze man. Yes, yes. I always need more shit. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. Okay. Man, I think there's one more upstairs. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows of this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD? Doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds were never gonna give us that. And you? You want our trust? You can This is Mark Cruz for Radio Free Oregon. That's great. That's great. Radio Free Oregon is on the- Oh, I'm on fire. Shit. Damn, Deacon, don't do that again. What the fuck? Might be useful. See, that wasn't so bad. When you have guns, if you didn't have a gun and you tried to do that, probably wouldn't work out as well. Alright. Where are we at now? We are right here and we're going here. Mike looks sick. Oh, what do we need for this? We need to find beer bottles so we can make more. Come on. 
and by burning these, I can't open it now, but it um, unclouds the area so you can see more of the map. I don't know how they're not burning to death in there while the building's on fire. Let me touch it, though. Get in there. Who are you? You really trying to run up on me with a 2 by 4 you dumb bitch? I can use this. And there's okay, usually really go. good loot in these buildings once you burn them out. Good stuff hidden. Stuff that we need. Supplies. If you haven't played this game, I'm telling you, it is definitely worth it. It was free for a while on PlayStation Plus. It's probably not anymore, but it, it's it's worth the full amount of money you pay for it. I would pay more than $60 for this game. And you guys know, I don't lie to you. <laughs> The game sucks. I'll tell you, it sucks. This game is fucking amazing. Alright, where are we headed now? See, we're clearing out the clouds now. We can see more of the area. What we want to find is a nest. It's probably not going to give us access to one yet, though. Well, we gotta do these missions and stuff first before <clears throat> it'll let us do a... a I'm not a nest, um, a horde. Because in the actual game, in the not new game plus, you wouldn't have all the weapons and stuff that I have now, so. So we are, what hell are we? We're over here somewhere, here, right here. Okay, there's one more zone we gotta clear out. Somewhere in this area. What up, TK? It's gotta be in this area somewhere. I got tired of the Call of Duty zombies, so I figured I'd uh, play with some actual zombies. <laughs> now we need some beer bottles anyway. We gotta loot up, make Molotovs. this other okay it's up this way so okay oh, there's gotta be a nest in this shack see what I see right Fuck that guy. This is days gone. It is an awesome zombie game. The storyline is incredible. I already have a platinum, but... I was looking for something different to play, going through my gaming library, and I'm just like, oh, you know, I haven't played this in a while. And so here we are. I'm just restarting now. I'm doing a new game plus, so I'm playing with like the old weapons and stuff that I unlocked. Like I pretty much have everything unlocked. I'm just playing the story mode again. But um, once I complete enough missions, it's gonna give me the option to clear a horde. And when you see the size of this horde, <laughs> Burn this out real quick. Come on, boys and girls, let's do this. Like, this is nothing right now compared to what we're going to end up fighting. Is that the last of them? Yeah, the graphics are incredible. I was just saying earlier, I could imagine how good this looks on PS5. I'm playing on PS4 right now, but... 
Yeah, but I wanted to clear him while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers him. Actually, yeah. if you have a PS5, That's, I think this is one of the free games to download. And trust me, it is worth it. This game is incredible. Deacon out. What we got in here? Always need ammo. Always. Nothing else in here? Guess not. Yeah, we're getting a new map, Forsaken. And I believe it, we're actually getting it, um... I don't think it's gonna be in tonight's update. I think tonight is just the, the preseason download. But, uh, tomorrow night, I think it's playable. I didn't see anything that says mid-season, so... Now we'll go over here, pick up some gas for our bike. Can of fuel. Our bike was out this way. You can fully customize the motorcycle, which is awesome. You will run out of gas on this. Your bike takes damage, all that's kind of realistic. This must be adding a new wonder weapon too. That's gonna be doped up to pack up on shockwave. Dude, drop the freaking thing! Oh my god! All right. Playing Outbreak has screwed me up in playing any other driving game, though. <laughs> Swear to God. Now, this game is a lot harder when you, you first play it, because you, you gotta start off, you gotta search, you gotta find weapons and stuff like that. Unlock a lot of stuff, so... Oh no. Oh! God damn it. Oh, my bike just took damage. Shouldn't have done that. A raider camp. A bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you said this week, huh? care how it looks as long as it does damage. <laughs> well once the update goes live I will be uh oh sniper. Sniper on the road. Oh god damn it. Uh, I will be showcasing everything that's new. You motherfucker like the NPCs, they're gonna run up on me with a baseball bat right now because that's really the only weapon that I have. But they don't know that I got guns, so stupid them. Otherwise I would have had to fight them. And they little two by fours. Oh, he had a machete? Yeah. But I got a baseball bat with a battle axe on it, so that did damage to my bike. Uh Scoop this up real quick. So pretty much it's a, a post-apocalypse world, so... Not only you have zombies trying to kill you, you got, like, other crews and stuff that are after you. That dude sucks as a sniper. Knock me off my bike and... Yeah. Damn, see, that's down to 12%. I gotta repair this. <laughs> 
I should have enough of scrap though. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see. Good. Alright, and we're good. Nesting zone. The map is oh, I clear. is huge. Like this is only one portion of it, but it is it is a big map. And then we can go to like different areas and stuff. So like we'll travel out of this area, we can go up north. Figure it out. I gotta cut down on the swarmers out here. It's definitely worth the money. Definitely. What just happened? Ah, it got night. It got night. It got dark. It got night. The fuck? <laughs> Where'd you order from? Amazon? Because, uh... Amazon usually notifies you that uh, your order was uh, delivered. We just killed this guy. He was a piece of shit. Alright, good. Yeah, Walmart's better. Amazon sells bootleg controllers. Like, I swear, every controller I bought off of Amazon, it lasts me, like, two months, and then... Yeah, I gotta buy a new one, so... <laughs> you should still get a notification that your package was delivered, whether it be email or... I think you can sign up for text updates and stuff. There's a zombie over here, I hear it. Now, your first playthrough, you want to kind of creep around and be quiet because the zombies sound hard. So, you shoot one, and whatever's in the area will hear the gunfire and. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they look legit. They say that they're Sony um, DualShock 4 controllers, but I haven't had any luck ordering controllers off Amazon, so I stopped doing that. Now, even if I gotta wait a week to get my package from, you know, Walmart or Best Buy or something, that's that's what I'm doing. Also, when your first playthrough, like, I have my map fully updated, which you do while playing um you gotta search for stuff on your own so like you that wouldn't pop up on the map that there was a herb there and if you needed herbs you'd actually have to stop and look for them it's it's an awesome game i was hooked on it when i first started playing i couldn't stop playing like That's also you can make health packs and stuff. So like I can go here. I can craft a health cocktail. I can make bandages. And you do have to heal yourself. You don't regenerate health. So salmon a cocktail. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff too. Proximity mine, remote bomb. Get to rocks. Uh, different types of stuff to distract the zombies. And then your throwables. This nave oh I can make one? Napalm Molotov. We're gonna save that for when we do the horde. Got pipe bombs. You probably won't start off with all this. This is stuff that you acquire over time. Remember, I'm on the new game plus, so. Yeah. 
There's different types of weapons you can pick. You can carry up to three. These are the three best in the game. You got the Tommy Gun, which I think they call the Chicago Chopper. Um, the LMG, the MG55 deals the most damage, and the uh, SMP9 as a secondary. Well, you can either do that or a shotgun. We gotta find where this stone is now. It's in here somewhere. Find the angel statue. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be looking for Leon's stash. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Check this building back here. That is a nest. I figured that's what it was. Told you they're sound hoarding. As soon as you shoot. Fucking Yankees are losing. Ooh, a hatchet. Alright, well they clearly don't want me in here, so... Gas is always nice. There's the angel statue. That's where we need to be, is in there. No. We just have to actually... Get in there. There should be a crack in the wall or something. Maybe we could jump over right here. No. It was a pain in the ass to get into the first time I did it, too. If I remember correctly, there is a crack in the wall somewhere. This is the main entrance. That's how we got in the first time. Here it is, right here. Boom. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Getting closer because the controller's vibrating. So. All right. Where? Huh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> Got it. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. This is when he first starts seeing the helicopters. Which is now going to awaken all the zombies. Boozer! Booze man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A, a chopper? Wait, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. And don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. 
Are we gonna kill these zombies before we pick that thing up again? <laughs> he wants to get in here, he don't know how to get in here either. <laughs> Another one out there. Fuck it. This is the way we came in, it was over here somewhere. Right here. He looks way out that way. We should be good. Let's take this back to the bike. And after that we can fight whatever, I don't care. Over here. Yeah, right, we're good. Let's see what's good with this helicopter. All right, they want us to chase that. Well, I ain't leaving my bike. Last time I left it, somebody stole it. We're gonna need gas for this thing soon too. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I would skip right over the cutscenes. But in this game, with this storyline, yeah, you, you definitely want to pay attention to these. You're a researcher. What the hell are they doing out here? Gotta go check them out. See what they're doing. We got a nest right here, but we're not gonna do that now because we're gonna attract attention if we do that. And this, you have to be stealthy. You can't just run up there and shoot them because you'll instantly die. He's not lying. They will execute you on the spot. <laughs> like, there's no way to fight them. Are we gonna mark them all? So we know who to stay away from. I don't even think I can kill him. Like, I can't run up behind him. And kill nope. I just have to sneak around. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. Now, mind you, the world has ended, so these are, like, I guess, I want to say government agents. They're scientists that work for the government, pretty much. 
But as far as anybody knows, the world has ended, the government has fallen. How are you doing? And then these guys just show up. We gotta get around to the other side, so... Before he sees us. Yeah, we need to be right here. We can hear... We can hear what they're up to. a large moving group, estimated size of 5 to 600, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at... Hey Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the high desert grotto. Now, if you remember from earlier, O'Brien is the doctor who the took his wife at the beginning. The attached photos indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking O'Brien. Did you hear me? Over 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular one-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. Then what the hell am I serious? No, no, no. And I asked if you were going to Yeah, we're gonna have to restart that because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we gotta stay behind them and hear what they're saying. But if you remember from the beginning of the game, O'Brien was the doctor who was on the helicopter with his wife. She was stabbed, she was hurt. He was gonna go with her, but he didn't want to leave Boozer behind. Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling up grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. King O'Brien. Did you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these He's aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. Then what the hell? They're sleep, sir. Babies. No, no, no. Forget it. Forget and I asked if you were going. Say I was. These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors of the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart when I was peeing on a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm I'm sorry. That mission was far from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Seal the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. 
All right, now we gotta get out of here undetected. See what these guys' patterns is before we run past them. So this whole time, all uh, was it 738 days that have passed since he last seen his wife, which is pretty much what this whole storyline revolves around. Uh, he's thought she was dead. Now he has some hope. If O'Brien survived, then she might be alive. Let's just gotta turn around just as I jump over. Oh. I don't know if it's a good idea to take this nest out right now. Oh, we don't even have. Oh, we got some more left. I don't know if this is gonna attract the attention from. Uh oh, that was a rock. Yeah, see, it won't let me throw it, it's locked. So we're going to have to come back and clear that one when these guys aren't here. Well, now we can burn this out. No, not that one. We're saving that for the big horde. Boozer, you there? Boozman, come back. Dig, hey, I'm here. Oh my god, my controller. We're going on a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you. He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh god, O'Brien. Wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. He's alive, loser. He's alive. What are you talking about? The camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. I went into their LZ. They... You, you went into their LZ? What the? Just listen. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Not boozer, I'm not. I'm just Hey, uh get some sleep. Deacon out. More scrap. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. 
In the days for the Rose King, choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. Now, do we have a horde yet? What is this right here? Tell me this is a horde. Finding some certain infestation. Right. We'll finish everything up here first. Side quests and whatever else. Before we head back down the mountain. I'm not gonna leave you to rest in peace. They can't get you now. Alright, that's done. And there was one more thing up here to do. This uh, nest. Who is you there? Yeah, Deacon. I took care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, brother. We should do this in for us. Yeah, she would have. Yeah, we gotta go back to the cemetery. It's on this side. Unless there's a hole in the fence, but... Rooster chicken. A rooster zombie. Rooster chicken. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me tonight, bro. Uh, rooster chicken. Where's this last horde? Our oh, nest. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I guess this is their feeding area. Burn that one out already. Was that marking there the whole time?
Well, we can't go up that way. It's definitely in the cemetery. Nope, nope, I'm bugging. I think I know where it might be. This cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit! You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Well, except, uh, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. There's something in this area. Gotta take a closer look. Over here is where it's vibrating. Take a look around. You gotta watch out for ambushes like that. That does happen a lot. Alright, 
screw this. I, I already have this thing 100% complete, so. We don't need to clear all of them. What else we got? It's ambush camp. All I want to do is a horde, man. <laughs> Another nest. Let's do it. Back to the main mission. You gotta get to that 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 mission where it'll uh, send you to kill the horde, and then after that, gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Looking for it. It was right here this whole time too. <laughs> Should be all of it done. It's my last Molotov anyway. All right, that's complete. Oh, what the fuck is this? A wolf? I hate killing animals. I'll kill the shit out of people. I hate killing animals. Oh! Are we about to fuck me up? One of the camps can use this. Well, it's dead now. Might as well utilize it. Let's shut this building real quick. Nothing. You also gotta be careful getting off your bike because the zombies do sound hurt. Yes, grave. I keep forgetting it's so close to old Deer, you know. Don't ask me how. There's definitely a horde in this area though, because it's over here by the train tracks. I remember that. It's the first one they send you to clear.
Guess I found him. You may need functioning bike nearby. My bike is right here. Right, maybe my bike is kind of far. There's always supplies and police vents. Always need ammo. I shot you. That's no, what I did. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, Coke kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You are cope with stories, you little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Keep calling me a little bitch. I'm gonna kill you. Cope, it's done. Uh, Got him. Uh, you Mark down these coordinates you... and send your man out here. Uh, you hear me? Hey, hey, you alive? Drift, drifter. You yeah, tell... he's alive. You tell... I won't promise you how you long tell... he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. I get more you money tell... for you alive. You tell him I said go. That's my bike. Boozer, you there? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you on the road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Peeking out. HDR, high definition resolution. I'm telling you, this has got to look insane on PS5.
here. And you don't want to run out of gas in the road. It's gonna get dark soon. Extra drop. There we go. the damage. Mine's well we right oh actually I don't even think we have any more miles of Nope. We'll come back for that. That wasn't a horde crossing the road, was it? I got excited for a second. I thought that was the horde. It's dead anyway now. Fucking roadkill. Didn't mean to do that. So open it. Hey, sneak it. This is Tuck's camp, Where's I think. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus.
I keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! Debbie Tucker. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe nope. he knows. Don't look at me, I ain't doing shit. <sighs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't. Tell him, Deacon. Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. Why does this stink so bad? <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you going to put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest out freak the freaks. I like Hope that. Hope I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden yeah, or something? Thanks. I feel so <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in a pen. Back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. I think, I think I have my headphones on. All that squeaking of that golf cart would, would drive my dog insane. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Hey, is he sure? Larson's been doing this for me. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. 
You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Kentucky, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. Right, well, I gotta here. go find Wheeler. Someone Bet you're here for your bike, bike, right? Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean. Right, I'm gonna refuel. Take I got care. you covered. See ya. Hey, always good to see what you. What else is around here? Sell off some of the shit that we get. Well, that was my favorite. Hey, uh, I haven't seen Boozer around much lately. Yeah, he's around. I guess he's just been doing more work for Copeland lately. You tell him I said get off his ass and do some work for me. Yeah, I'll let him know. Hey, stay safe out there, D. You saw something made turn something Hope in. Hope you what got some fuck? ears for me. Maybe fuck next it. time. <sighs> stay old, brother. Alright? I think we can get some food from over here. Oh, well, we can sell off the food that we have. The deer, the wolf. Um, fuck it, we'll pick more of shit up, so sell it all off. Get some cash. We're gonna run short. This will feed everyone. Alcott, what do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me. To if you knew about it, two bikers, two men, asking if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Well, I already own every gun in the game, but if you want to see real quick what they have. Peter. That's a pretty good gun. Shotgun. Combat shotgun. Sniper rifle's good to have as a um, a special weapon, but I really like the the LMG. So all what in else here, can gonna I refill everything because I've been shooting up a storm out there. Thanks. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Here you go. Not that I'm going to use it, but you never know, just in case. Can I get anything else for you? Good choice. Need anything else? And this is all the guns in game. You can't see what they look like, but... Well, kind of a little bit on the table in the back. Okay, sure. What's up, Gene? Sorry about earlier. Hey, my bad. You guys got my full undivided attention now. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Alright, I think last time I brought it to, um... 
Copeland because I wanted the stuff for my bike. My bike is fully upgraded, so I think we're going to give the drug Can't stash to Tucker. North until I get better gear. Tucker it is. It really doesn't make a difference. I have everything unlocked anyway, so. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alkai. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. And the Yankees are still losing to the Red Sox. Can't wait, Gene. I love you, series. That was weird. Oh, wait, no, never mind, I found it. Shit. Alright, where are we going now? Guess I have no choice. I guess I gotta go talk to this dude. I just wanna go clear hordes, man. They're making me do all this extra shit. She did tell me I had to talk to him before I left. Hey, Deacon. Hey, I'll okay. Need supplies, weapons. No. You seeing you, Deke? Uh, you got the stuff for the to build more hey, No, how you, you been? don't. Alkai. Okay. Yeah, all right. Alkai. Okay. See you later. I guess that's what I have to do next, is I'm going to have no choice but to clear this shit. How is taking a check out? I have no idea where that's sending me. Oh, whatever. No doubt, G. No doubt. It's crazy when you think... Oh, almost fell in there. It's crazy when you think about it, though, because, you know, if we really do blow up on, on YouTube, which I think you'll probably get there before I will, because, you know, you put way more effort into it. But, um... It'd just be crazy to think about that, like, yo... I knew this guy when he had like 40 subscribers. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Oh my god. Get back to work. 
And then you can tell people you knew me before I ever even dropped a nuke. <laughs> I know it's a zombie apocalypse. I need talking of GPS. Here for your bike, right? Here we go. This is how we get up. This is how we came in. Take you there, Boozer. Why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Boozer, I... Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same. And what are the tulips for? Huh? Well, I there's just say the same thing, Gene. I mean, as it is now, I'm small time, and people already know most of the people that I play with, so... I'm looking up. Anybody that pops in the stream, they're gonna know who you are. I gotta go. Deacon out. Oh, I'm getting overrun. Run, Deacon, run! Y'all know who y'all messing with! Run up on me like that. Get it right. <laughs> That's right. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Burn this thing this down is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, when we were fighting for our freedoms, we gained the Hopefully this works with a pipe bomb. And bear arms. Usually I do it with a Molotov, but I don't have any. Our families, our property. No, that, that didn't work. Until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun right they could. Using a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. When all this shit went down, if every American was... I'm packaged, gonna have to come back to do that. Do you think we'd be in this mess? I gotta find beer bottles. I gotta go search for shit. But this is how the feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Someday, we have to take out of this. I'm gonna take a poll. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Renegade camp. Sons of bitches, you think you can ambush me and get away with it? Yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, digging out. See, she waits till after I leave to tell me she's got a job for me. I, I was literally just there. Another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down and make it safer. Guess I'll we gotta search come this back area later first. Burn out these nests. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. I just wanted you to know that the Hot Springs appreciates all that you've been doing for us. Life ain't ever gonna be easy again, but you're making a difference to a lot of folks. Fucking touch me. Deacon St. John, this is Ada Tucker. Alki wanted me to tell you that the camp is thankful for all the runs you've been doing. We need all the help we can get. Now, because I'm looking for beer bottles, I'm not going to find none. Tucker to Deacon St. John, are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, and some of the other men. 
I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. He doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. Locked. The fucking zombie apocalypse. How is the door locked? Somebody's sniping. Should we help this guy? Watch him try to kill burn, us now. Freak, burn. I think he died. Yeah, they got him. Poor bastard. But since you're dead, run your pockets. <laughs> I didn't have to, he died on his own. I tried to help him. Where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. I find it hard to believe nobody in this town drinks beer. What I could try to do... I might end up needing this gas later, but... I'll pick that up. Drop it right here. That's a good spot. Now. Probably end up needing that gas later, but... Maybe there'll be beer bottles in there. first. I never got attacked by an invisible zombie in Days Gone. In Cold War, yes. Do 
some more beer bottles. Everybody in this town must be an AA. I don't know. Hungry gyms. They serve pancakes. That must be Jim. I don't know, but I better be drinking beer in here. Thank you. Got one. I'll take a short sec. No? The hell, nobody's working today. But that's a tall stack. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we can make one Molotov. They're coming! There's that other nest up back here somewhere. Right? Yeah, we're in a bar. All right, all right. Gotta be some beer bottles in here. Kid and they probably came in here and raided. This is probably the first place they hit. <laughs> Alright, well, we can make two Molotovs. What time is it? 10 30. Right, we still got time. Because I do gotta check out that new Call of Duty update when it drops. No doubt, Gene. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. be in this building. I was over here when I got off the bike. I gotta go to my bike anyway. Any more ammo. I thought there was a nest around here. This is a post office. Or was a post office. And it's sad that I know that. I mean, I worked in enough of them. <laughs> Playing Days Gone, Junie. And listen, I pride myself on being a weirdo, so... Ah, beer bottle. Thank you. Been in search for that. Alright, there's gotta be a nest around here somewhere now. What was that? There was something on the shelf. Make a 
bomb with that. What the fuck was that nest at? There's a whole bunch of nests in this top bucket. I'm getting them up like. I just want to kill hordes of zombies. Yeah, I didn't see that. Zombie up on the hill. Here's the generator. Here's the tow truck. I need gas. What is this? Yes, one of the cars. Found it. my bike, put the rest of this in the bike. And stop right here. the damn suppressor on this gun.
bunch of shit in there. If I could find the damn fuse. It's in this area somewhere. Probably right on the other side of the gate. No. It was here the whole time. Are you serious? All right. Where? Gotcha. This is it. Oh, I gotta put the fuse in first, though. If it lets me. Or do we need a second fuse now? Power's off, figures. <laughs> now let's see it's right down here somewhere. But I don't see nothing. Maybe in the shrub? <laughs> Oh, good. We got more gas if we need it. Who's that? No, this is where I need to be. It's not letting me put it in, though. What the fuck? This game is being very glitchy tonight. First it was the invisible zombie. God damn it. What's up, Humble? Uh, it's out the way, right? What's in here? We just stole an airbag. I'm good, I'm good. Can't <coughs> complain. How's school? I'm gonna hit that. I'm trying to avoid the zombies. Get the hell out of this area. Oh shit, I thought you were humble, my bad. <laughs> Now 
we got to go through this all over again with opening this side up. You know, we got a new zombie like map coming out, right? I don't know if we'll be able to play it tonight, but... There's definitely a horde around here. I know it's over by the train tracks, I just don't remember where. <clears throat> yeah, I have it downloaded already. I just gotta wait until midnight to install it. <laughs> we're getting there, we're like an hour off. Hopefully I can find a horde in the next hour. <laughs> Yes. No gas tank around here. Oh, you better start grinding. I think you have until Thursday before it resets. I think today, tonight is just the um, the pre-update. Like not much is gonna change. The background will, will that'll update. And maybe they'll add, like, a new weapon or something, but the full update isn't coming until tomorrow night. Where is this gas tank? I actually have to get into this one. Mass grave. The like whole the gas truck the right there. Again. Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Well, when the new map comes out, let me know if you want to play. Another Nero micro recorder. Field note 1376. Sure Agent Sinclair reporting. See if we can solve this Easter egg. Inspection at Corpse Disposal Site 13 Alpha. And the work has been completed to code. Lucky 13 and... Yeah, there's like a gas truck right here, but there's no gas truck. domain has been completed over the Pan Pacific Railroad, and trains are currently being rerouted through Nero Depot Site... 27, and the good old wagon road. <sighs> Note to the budget office that we had to bring in some extra machinery to fix up some of these forest service roads. The bean counters in Salem and D.C. can't be dependent on for anything. Also, addendum to Field Note 1375, the mayor and the entire city council, and I use the word city with great irony, of Marion Forks were arrested yesterday for trespassing and are now cooling their heels in the county lot. Seems they didn't appreciate the close proximity of the disposal site 12 Alpha to their little hamlet. Off the record, it doesn't matter. In a few more weeks, I'm guessing none of this will matter. Yeah, well, if you knew that, then why the hell did you dig them out here anyway? Bean counter. Pot calling the kettle black. There has to be a gas tank around here somewhere. And because this is a, a, a main objective, it's going to make me go searching for it. There is definitely a horde around here. Look at how big this... Oh, no, they're burning bodies over here. This looks like a feeding area for a horde, though. Gas tank? Thank you. I'm so excited to, to go and find the horde. I'm telling you, I'll get, run into it. It's gonna fuck me up. <laughs> right, where was that generator? Okay, we found the gas tank. Now we can't find the generator. It's probably in this yard. We're gonna have to go up on the roof and jump down. Uh, way out of the roof. I'm ahead of you over here, Deacon. I know I gotta get up there. Just a matter of how. Um. Oh. I told you that was a feeding area! It's a fucking horde! A little one! 
but still a horde. Oh, shit. oh, they know I'm here. Oh, it's about to be some shit. to fuck me up. Wait, 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 wait. R2, use. That was definitely a horde. That was an easy horde. Okay, when they tell you, oh, go to this area because there's a horde here that needs to be cleared out. Yeah. Yeah, wait till you see how hectic that shit is. See, that's why Gene was telling me watch the train cars. He knew they were up there. <laughs> but you can always tell if you're near a horde because it, you'll be in, like, really muddy, like, areas like this. Like, this is where they have all the dead bodies and everything, right? Like, you see them all in the, the um, uh, body bags and stuff, right? So that's going to attract zombies. And it just looks like an area that was all stomped through by zombies. Like, you can always tell they're around because of this. And it was a whole big... Oh, I thought I could blow that up. Never mind. Asking you shall receive, right? I've been asking for a horde, and I just happened to stumble across one. Or they happened to stumble across me. Alright, here's my gas can. We still have to get on this roof. Can I throw this over the fence? Like, is that possible? No? Because I'm pretty sure the generator's in there. Yeah, the generator's right there. Oh, you can throw it. Say less. I don't have to worry about that no more. Oh, there's a gas can here at the whole time. Look, now that I'm looking for one, I ain't gonna be able to find it. Well, I feel like this place would have been a lot better if I'd have done it the first time I played this game. But I wasn't into streaming like that, so. I mean, I think I, there is some clips, if you go far enough back on my channel, there are a couple of clips of me fighting hordes and stuff. But I, I wasn't into streaming like that. I was just like, you know, whatever. Oh, this looks cool, let me clip this, I'll put this on the channel, whatever. But I had no, you know, 
no foresight that I would be <laughs> a, a streamer. I supposed to get on this roof because I can't jump from here it's too far because that that was originally what I thought I could do but that's kind of on the far side ow wait never mind I got it Now, I would have been fucked, though, had this been my first playthrough and I stumbled across that horde and all I had was a baseball bat. I would have been fucked. <laughs> but because I had OE Faithful over here, we managed to survive that. Alright, we're on the roof. I don't think there's anything else up here that we need. See what we got in here. I thought I took these speakers out already. Well, I mean, I killed the horde, so what the fuck is really gonna run up on me? Okay. No, I take that back. I take that back. See, now I want to go find another horde. I can't remember where that um, lumber yard is. I think that was probably one of the hardest ones. Yeah, we'll take ammo. We always need ammo. Always need ammo. Alright, what else is there? Ow. Okay, that hurt. There we go. That's what we need. Why are they getting drunk up in here? They're supposed to be doing research. They got beer bottles. Uh, Nero injector. Just what the doctor ordered. Alright, I think we got everything from in here. We don't need the gun locker. We already have good guns. I'm not changing. This is what I'm going to stick with for the playthrough. Unless you guys request to see um, a different gun. Maybe. Maybe I'll put a sniper on. I do remember there being a horde in one of these tunnels. It's not this one. I came through here already, but... There tends to be a horde in one of these, um, tunnels. When you go through it, it's like off to the side. Let's see if this thing cleared up while we go through here. Can I put this fuse in here? 
Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Yeah, I still so fucked up. Let's go. Oh, God damn it, don't let them see me. Well, they saw me, so I guess we beat them. Let's go. You want to run up? Run up. Where'd you go? Where the fuck did they go? Because now I'm killing y'all. Why are you screaming? You have a gun on your back. Fucking use it. That's a big ass wolf, bro. Big ass fucking wolf. And my man's over here. Help, help, help. Don't use that gun on your back to help me kill it, right? Useless NPCs. Okay, humble. I'll be here. I got this. Hang on. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp. That... Camp? Where? 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 Sh show me. I'll go. I'll go. Well, that's an easy decision. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit, you know. Thank you so much. Oh man. Oh, I thought he was yeah, gonna hug me. I was about to kill him. St. John. They know me. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. That poor bastard's probably gonna die long before he gets there. All right, let's see. What do we gotta create now? Can't make any more of those. We're good on that. I, I always hated this fucking weapon wheel. That's what I should have thrown at that horde. Why do I still have this big shit? Oh my god. And... Suppressor on that. What else is this? A stun gun. Hmm. How am I gonna do with a stun gun? Stun a zombie? Alright, I didn't have to do anything over here. I just stopped because they were shooting at me. <laughs> so I put some blueberries in his back pocket. He's dead for sure. Good, get on the bike. On the road again. 
I gotta kill this guy. See, this is why sometimes I wish I had the sniper. Because I could snipe him right out of that tower before he sees me. be a way to get up there. Guess not. What is he? I would get stuck in a bear trap. I would. How do you like that, huh? Okay, time for the rest. Well, they know I'm here. Shoot at me. Hey, you talking about come on out? You yeah, come good. on out. Where you at? All right. Where are we fighting over? Let's just be friends. Okay, that's clear. Now you know. Slice your whole head right off. The other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I'll bet they do. Yes, now I gotta refill my ammo. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, the and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history. But we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna it's a big ass cat. You would think there'd be more people here. If the feds or rippers or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness? Bro, shut no, up. I don't think so, Cope. Not today. Is that what it's sending me? No, it should got me running all over the place. It's back up here. I was about to say, like...
Yeah, yeah, stamina depleted. Looks like we're walking. Is that a body just swinging in the... <laughs> it's going to be in the building. I could be wrong, though. That's just weird. Imagine you're sitting here taking a shit and the zombie just comes through the window and just eats your ass. Literally. Bunker. It sits back here on the hill. No. Got here a map, yes. Crafting, hello. Okay, I'm not good. Really ain't too much down here. <clears throat> All right, Jean. Can't wait to see the video. This is blue shit. What is this? Oh, that's probably a bear trap. Now you want to notify me that it's there, right? After I step in it. And my dumbass still stepped in it. I've seen it on the map, said, what is this, and still stepped in it. Later, Jean. You guys, if you're in the horror series, you really gotta check him out, I'm telling you. He puts work into his videos.
Wow, okay. <sighs> now we gotta repair the bike, because oh, that hurt. Can fix this. That should do it. Guys, before we go any further, give me a second. Let me get something to drink. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Dragonheart, welcome to the channel. I just seen your subscription. Appreciate you. <coughs> Kids, don't smoke cigarettes, I'm telling you.
don't even smoke no more and I still sound like this. Right, we gotta be quiet because there is definitely a horde in this area. Because the, the horde came through. Well, at least that's how the story goes. The horde came through here and killed this entire encampment. So. There is definitely a horde around here somewhere. It's daytime, so they're probably hit out somewhere, but... They were getting the... The music. Got you. And... Another bounty. So much for that... Suppressor. Alright, we're good. I think if, the, if there was a horde coming through, it would have... We would have been notified already. I.e. we'd be running for our life. Okay, let's loot as much stuff as we can while we're here. Yeah, the music's intensifying, so there, there's definitely something in this area. And it's not one or two zombies for music to be playing like that. It must have been a horde. They they moved past. They're not in the area anymore. That's why the music stopped. Let's get up here and get to this cutscene. I don't know, we might still run into the horde. They might actually be on the other side of this car. Because I am hearing stuff up there. Right, we gotta push this car out of the way. Right, there's a couple zombies in there, it's not looking. Too much like a horde. I mean, it could be. I see three so far. They clearly see me. What is this that's showing? On the map. I'll take that. Whatever that is. Could be useful. Stamina, definitely useful. Especially if there is a horde up here. Right, we gotta find a way into the camp. Since we can't go that way. music again. Something out of this. Freaks not here. You got that? Feed him the hell you
Mm -hmm. Well, Yankee season is officially over with. <clears throat> Happy I didn't watch that game. I gotta tell you something. I, it's okay, it's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you, and then I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was gonna be a life like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. <laughs> hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Come on! Oh, oh my God. Uh, um, I don't know, I don't I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Good enough. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the hell Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How are you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little... This little kid. This... This goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Your mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Because mm. we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Mm. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at her. We gotta move. We're gonna go that way. Ah, come on. All right, hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's of here. a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. 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 I'm Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. 
If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Ryan. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. You got room for two of you? Wait. wait, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. Oh my God. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I really don't think one more person would have made a difference on that helicopter, but... Here we go. We wouldn't have this incredible storyline if they both got on the helicopter. Where are you so. going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. Nice little flashback. I still think there's a chopper. horde in this area, so we the gotta be careful. <laughs> Do we need gas? Yeah, we'll put some in. Fuel. It is nighttime, so if uh, there is a horde, they would be out now. For whatever reason, these zombies are nocturnal. But when you are searching for a horde, the best time to find them is like early morning or late at night, because they're either coming in of their, coming into their camp or going out. Which is usually in a cave somewhere, so. I look hard enough. I'll probably find one around here somewhere.
Now no. they're not just showing up. The one is right in here. We might as well spare these while we're over here. Gotta be right here. Oh, there's another one. Time to burn. See, I picked the Molotov and it's giving me a fucking pipe bomb. It's gotta be upstairs then. On the roof. This might actually be it right there on the side. They'll probably burn it off of my face. Nope, that didn't work. That was a waste of a Molotov. Oh no, it worked, it worked. Take that back. Zombies around here. <laughs> I see the sun came up, so now we can't find <laughs> the rest of the locations. I mean, we can find them, they're just not going to show on the map. I think one was back this way. Mind though, I'm still playing a new game plus. This game is a lot harder the first time you play through it. Come on. What's up, Shallon? And I think there's still one more nest back here I've seen on the map before it disappeared. Yeah, it's up that way. It's in here, actually. I smell it. Ugh, gotta be getting close. Again with these fucking pipe bombs.
this now. This is right over where we need to be anyway, right? God damn it. Music so intense. That's why the music was intense, because I was timed on doing something. Oops. You went up there again, didn't you? After I told you not to... Look! I... Just leave it! Okay, we gotta chase the chopper. That's what they want us to do. Just out hunting for each boozer, you got that bounty. The only reason that I go up to. I should have went up on the hill. Oh shit, runners. Damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know you could fall off the bike. That's a zombie dog. Alright, I gotta restart this mission. I probably just lost that again. Fucking zombie wolf. Oh my god, I'm hitting everything trying to replenish my health. They're stopping. I won't let me get off the bike. And that's why I wouldn't let me get off the bike. Deke! Deke, what's going on? 
son of a bitch. Well, what happened? You okay? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I think they were just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Remember they warned him not to chase the helicopter. And what is he doing? Yeah, 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 I got this. Dick it out. And all the times I played this, I never flipped off the bike the way I did before, though. That was crazy. I didn't even know that was possible. the horn. Okay, we're killing that. God damn, look at all of them. Well, we're taking that out. Just in time for me to take on another horde. They just went up the hill. Yeah, okay, yes, a radio, all right. What is this? That's really can use this. Oh shit, where does bitch come from? God damn it, get back here with that! Shit, that's mine! Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. Thought I was fucking chasing you. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here. Shit, wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt. Right. The horde went up over this hill. Like they were putting in tracking and you know I want to fight something. them, so we're gonna go search for them. You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Ah. Dragged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No! See, no. they won't let me fight the horde, I, man. It was a big know. horde, I'm too. Just, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deke it out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? This load time can cannot be as long on PS5. Now we have another flashback. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is when they first met.
So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road, and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. It's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that, that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap, Belknap. That's the one, and I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then. <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> <All right. laughs> could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. Uh, um, I don't, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your I just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I know what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um... I don't know, some... I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. He just said he was lost, too. <laughs> Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... It'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clean. We got company. Oh, All right, gentlemen. Yeah, 
almost don't want to die, bro. Or go down, like... How am I leaving mission zone, like... Yes, hit him again. How you like that, Mike? Love way to do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn, do you, Mike? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, dude. Well, teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Oh, oh, oh. Hold up. Roll, goddammit. Roll. If that ain't a true love story, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. Uh, oh my god. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. No. Oh my god, I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh shit. Yeah, but you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're, were gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah. Should we look and see if that horde is still back there? Take the bike too, because I don't know Tucker. how far we're gonna have to ride around. Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait. He mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of. <laughs> oh uh, shit. Oh. Was not expecting that. I'm looking for a horde, and I'm finding a horde of fucking or a pack of wolves. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. We gotta get a new baseball bat. This one's almost done for. Remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came to me the other day, traded us a few guns, maybe something you could use. Mind peeking out. They're around here somewhere, that's why the music's so intense. Cave. Definitely. All right. So what we're gonna do? Well, I don't even have another suppressor for this. All right. I should have one for here though. Yeah. Attach suppressor. Let's heal up real quick. Make sure we have everything that we can build built. We will be throwing quite a few of these. Just have that ready to go. Anything worth yeah. 
I really thought there was a horde down here. A lot of people died. Okay. Oh, that baseball bat's done for. I'll swing a hatchet. I'll be Rick Grimes. be a cave around here that has a horde in it. Wait, cave right here. Okay, boom. I knew it was around here. You hear them, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. I don't know if I was ready for this. Holy shit. And I set myself on fire. I was not ready for this. Stop, drop, and roll, Deacon. Stop, drop, and roll. Holy shit. Look at all of them. enough. There's a time when I used to play this game, I'd be like, oh shit, a horde, I'm not going that way. Now, oh shit, a horde, let's go get it. That was still a small horde compared to as big as they can get. What I like to do is before I grab their attention, right? There would be like fucking, like say, like 40 of them in here, right? All just cramped on top of each other. Take one of them big napalm on things and just launch it right at them. And burn them up while they're still in the cave. Then whatever doesn't die, it's not as many. Oh my god, I hate this weapon wheel. Guys, if you're liking this video, make sure uh, 
Give it a thumbs up, please. Southern nest that's over here. Ooh. That would have hurt. Gotta be close to a nest. I can smell it. Another nest. That's Again cool. with these fucking pipe bombs, bro. Somebody was shooting over here. I heard Goodness. gunfire in the distance. That's about right. That's about what I paid for gas the other day. How long does it take for this shit to burn? Oh, this is a giant bird's nest. <laughs> we need that. That way I'm not gonna go into my saddlebag. There's a cop for around here too that probably has some, uh... Some ammo in it. It was right here. No, I seen it. <laughs> oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Yeah, one more nest over there. Let me check and see if uh, uh, Cold War is updating. One second, guys. It's installing the update. I will 
I'll check that out in a little bit. I know how eager you all are to hear me rage. If it is, not let me pick it up anyway, so. Alright, back to the back. This area is done. Humble, did you uh, check out the new update yet? Is it anything even in there? Damn or? <laughs> full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. We gotta get it out of the water. I think this is a kid they're looking for. Gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? If you move cautiously, you don't stick around long. Good for you. 
Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. Freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. You fucking rippers, none of you are getting out of here alive. And come! I tell ya! Honestly, I can run over zombies and pick up whatever they have on them, but these guys I gotta stop and search them. And we got time for that. Need scrap. Did a good job of boarding it up. <laughs> it's a rapple gun when you need one. Set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Are you alone? Is there, uh, anyone else with you? Poor oh, kids just shit. sitting there waiting for our parents to come home. Okay, uh... They ain't coming home. Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! So, uh, said... <laughs> That's oh. mine! This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me and we would leave together. And I got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and... I didn't know what to do, so, so I hid. I, I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, 
Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp. You need to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. Iguailaina. She is. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? No. Lots of sick people. Sick people, that's what she called them. How is this kid still alive? Okay, this way. Yeah, let me know if there's anything new in there, Humble. Because I'll be mad if I turn this stream off, go on Call of Duty, and it's the same old crap. Stay with me. Look out. Come on, kid, the bike's right up the road. We should go. So there's a bear next to my bike. A big bear. Um, I think I'm gonna have to kill it. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's why I'm in no rush to get on it. I mean, unless you guys want to watch me play Call of Duty, but you guys watch me play Call of Duty every night. I figured this would be a nice little change of pace. I'm not getting upset. I'm not raging. I'm calm, cool, and collective. Except for the fact that there's a giant bear next to my bike. And I can't even just say, well, I'm a gunner for the bike. Hop on the bike and dip because I got to take this one with me. So, Okay, then. I guess we're killing a bear. But that was easier than I thought it would be. Shit, we need ammo though. We're getting low. Cap car? Not a cap car. Man, I'll kill people all day in video games. I have no problem with that at all. I just don't like killing animals. Oh, that's where she went. I don't like the way y'all up there just staring at me. That's creepy as fuck. On some hills have eyes shit. Sound like them too. Alright, kid, come on. I gotta get come some on, ammo get from my we backpack anyway. I don't know about this. Come on, kid, we gotta go. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa... 
Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? God damn it. I'm telling you, man, playing um, Outbreak and driving the motorcycles got me all types of confused right now. They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. That, that sounds great. We used to go all over. The map crater, the lava flow, and black crater. Everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp, too? Uh... I don't know, kid. Shit, someone's in the tunnel. What? Listen to me, the gunshots that you heard was water. Really bad men. You understand? Yes. Stay here, find some place to hide. Oh, 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 sniper! Oh, you killed him! You see who running? Lisa? Who's running? Kid, come on out. It's safe. Now we lost the kid. I'll get back on the bike if she comes out of hiding. Come on, hop on. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. They have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? He wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. No, some friend he is. He done left her. <laughs> Damn well her parents weren't coming back, poor kid. There'll probably be ammo in here. Bro, fuck. Oh, we got one more nest over here. Kids, stay here with the bike. Check out this last nest. Where is it? It was showed down here on the map.
Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You you know what that is. Where's that on the map? Because we're coming back for that. Uh, that's... Okay, right here from the Nero research site. Let's go drop this kid off. Yeah, it's kind of weird like that. Like, I think that initially that's what it was, what they were trying to do. Like, that's why it takes forever for it to burn, and then it just kind of just falls apart. So, yeah. I don't know. All right, we're gonna drop this kid off. We're gonna go back over there and wait for that horde to come. All right, this they're is out it. Right we're now. here. So just. Stay with me. Okay. It gives us a chance to um, resupply too while we're in here. Well, who do we have here? This is Tucker. Oh my God. <laughs> Lisa, honey, oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do. And men came, and people shh, had shh, shh, shh. And It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. Deacon ain't your regular we biker. We were neighbors, <laughs> weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. So <coughs> and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me. She you. did say she had a job for me, so we'll pick up all these side Deke, quests and everything. You ever ride with more a drifter out. or scars all over his face? We go past him. Carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo. Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman to death. Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt. Oh, Maria. Right? Oh, Jesus. This asshole, Limbo. He's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service Hell. Watchtower on the Get east slope of Three Finger Jack. <clears throat> yep, I know where it is, and, uh... Please, no. Yeah, that was well, just up there. Now I gotta go back up there again. Who getting beat on? The fuck? Getting their ass whooped. Just do your job and they'll leave you alone. Uh, uh, How you beating on a chick like that, yo? Like, lucky I can't smack the shit out of you. I guess I'm just distracted. What do you want? Deacon. Hey, Zanny. 
Keeping your hands clean. There you go. $255 to refill. I could have found a gas tank on the Turn road. Back. Make it though, we got cash. Hey, leave him be! Everybody getting fucked up in here, yo, and then she wants me to move in. I'm good. Loser said you guys are uh, thinking about heading north. Yeah, yeah, as soon as we put together enough gear, we're riding out of here. Tucker's yeah. starting to get. Hey, Dude, it's stay always safe fucking trying to talk to me. Right. Yeah. She fill our ammo. Good you're here. What do you need? How's life as a camper, Alki? Same as ever. Can I get anything else for you? Here. Good as new. This will do you good out there. Need anything else? What else can I do for you? Good choice. Come by if you still need something. Want anything else? Come see me. Uh, we could sell some of this meat too. That that bear that we killed—that's gotta be worth something. Let's hey, get some right here. Right here. That's all I got. Let's yeah, look at our bike. Deacon. How's the bike business going, Sandy? Where's this shit trying to send me now? Where's this? Alright, that horde was somewhere around here, right? Let's go check that out first. Brian. It's goddamn O'Brien. What did he say? Uh, Metolius Springs? Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I just caught a blip. Okay, that was just over dramatic for no reason. Yeah, I wanted me, right? Okay, I'm here. Okay, are we done? I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. Alright, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Oh, Brian, I got some questions for you. <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> Nest. <sighs> Gotta be right around here. to kill a zombie. Yeah, it was out this way somewhere. We're looking on the map. No, it's not this way. The other way. So I think it was. It's not that. Not this way. If 
Fuck, let me just take the bike and keep driving. I think it was on the other side of this bridge, I think. fucking lake, so it had to be on this side of the lake. It's gotta be back there. Yeah, because I left the kid here and I went this way looking for the shit that we just blew up. Here, if they are back here, I don't need to attract them that quickly. Unless it's on that side of the lake. <laughs> No, it was over here, because I came and I checked this bathroom. The men's area. And I kept going straight. Yep, right here. Rebel Rock Cave. That didn't sound good. Uh, it's night. It hasn't turned morning yet, so they're probably still out. <coughs> Fuck that shit. This is definitely a horde, though. And by the size of this cave, it is a big one. This is a big horde. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell is that sound? We gotta get out of here before um, the sun comes up and they come back. Because I'm not trying to fight them in the cave. Uh, Nero injector. Just what the doctor ordered. COVID vaccine. <laughs> right, but this is a, a big cave that was filled with zombies. <laughs> Starting to make their way back. The good thing is, I will hear though, the music starts to intensify when uh, they get close. They're coming. Coming. Oh, yeah. There I go. That doesn't look to be too bad. Okay. 
it doesn't look too big from where I'm standing, but y'all hear them, right? Like, that sounds like a lot. Well, you only live once, so... I didn't even hit nothing, I don't think. Holy shit. They, they, some of them split off and started to go back, so... What the fuck was that about? Stupid on my part. I stopped running. I should have kept going. <laughs> now we gotta do that all over again. Alright, 
Alright, that was a lot easier that time. Alright, that many left. Is this thing shooting, um, incendiary rounds? Because I swear, that's what it looks like. And there's still gotta be one lingering around because we didn't get the um the points or whatever for completing that horde, so there's still gotta be more of that out here. Yeah, yeah, there goes the rest of them. I was gonna say I knew that couldn't be all of them. <laughs> We did kill quite a few of them. All them X's on the, the ground on the map. I saw what we killed already. But that was definitely the largest horde we've faced so far. Should have been the last one. Oh, no, still more. big this horde is. We killed like 400 of them and <laughs> they're still not all dead yet. Are we missing? Damn, how many more? There we go. Alright, back to the bike.
Okay, we definitely need ammo. <laughs> This pretty much just gives you back control of the area. Like, the not that. Okay, so see this area right here that's so clouded and we can't see what's down there? That's a nest. We gotta clear this area of nests and then the map will open and we'll be able to see more of what's on it. When I play games like this, I like to do the side quest first before I do the main quest. Because you know the main quests are going to be harder, so... I'd rather be fully leveled up and stuff like that. I mean, this is a new game plus, it don't matter how I play it. But that's just typically how I would have played a game like this. It's right here, as a matter of fact, we're looking right at it. The only thing is, we're gonna have to use the napalm because. Oh my god, it never lets me equip it. Alright, we're gonna have to use one of these. Yeah. I'd rather use that on hordes, but I mean. Alright, we just took back another area. Oh, it's a machete? Alright, I'll take that. That did not look like a machete. Alright, um... Wasn't there something up there? Hmm, that's all the way up there. What the hell does that like? Something out of this. More scrap. My bike is way, way out that way. Yeah, we're dying if we go down that way. <laughs> While we're over here, we might as well just go back up here and do this again. We'll just go back to her gravesite. But... And then we'll be done with this area entirely. There's no reason for us to come back here. Park 
up right here. Now we're good. We'll get gas on the way down. Throw it. says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. I still haven't been back and to I, see him, and it's I been days. enough, you know, <laughs> but... Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered. Son of a bitch, Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're going to ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh... I might not see you again, you know? We really should go check on Boozer. It's been a couple days. You're supposed to bring him back those bandages and we haven't gone over there. <laughs> This GPS be always be sending me the wrong way. Can I even go this way? I have no choice but to go this way. Okay, yeah, that's the way we can go. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's outbreak. I keep trying to drive with the right joystick. <laughs> the only dumbass game in the world that makes you do that is Call of Duty. Let's just sell this real quick. Good.
map is huge, by the way, if you can't tell. This is only one section. There's other parts that we can go to. Now we're going back to Boozer. When your bike is idle, meaning when you run out of gas. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus and see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, no, because, I, can I see mean, that. that's how you hunt. You see oh, deer on. shit on the floor and you stick your finger in it. my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, I no, shot him that okay. time. Don't play with me. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spot? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. 
You died right that. over here because I got the XP for it. I knew I hit it that second time. Across his carcass anytime. Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I had been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut it deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. That needs the bathroom real quick. I'm back. Uh, do we need to resupply while we're here? Mine's all right. Deke, good to see you. A couple of guys. How's it going, Manny? I'll refuel you, nice and good. This girl could use a tune-up. What are you calling me? All right, Screamer? check back later, Deke. man. How have you been? You? Hey, Call Damon. Man. How's life? Anything camera. else I can get for you? Okay. 
See you, Deke. Hey, Let's Deke. go make some money off Jesus, of her right now. Deke. You hear what's happening? 167 former ears. The feds are still flying. Um, Can you believe that shut shit? Up. Wait, what? What are you talking about? That's from the, the horde that we killed. Shut up about it. He says it proves what he has been saying from the start that yeah, the yeah. feds are behind this whole mess. Hey, Deke. Ah, never mind. You uh, just stay whole out there. You hear me? I have no job available. That's why I can't talk to him. And right, Deacon and St. John. Hey, Damon. Hey, Deke, let me get the game. Hey, you sweet heart. How's it going, booze man? We definitely got to get back up on the mountain and go check on him. Shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few peppers. For dinner. I took out my first dough from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. Okay, now I just gotta. You wanna survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. My grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Put a snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come around. But careful. A headless snake can still bite. Especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would have outlived us all. Granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. That's real sporting. <sighs> Guess none of that shit matters now. Fresh. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Boozer. This might be the horde we already took out. What's over here by the train tracks? But this. This is definitely where they eat. <laughs> I think we killed this sword already. Sarge, how about we make it on 
Should let me kill these guys. It makes it so much easier. I'm not good at this stealthy type shit. Ooh, shit. Speculation as to Tobinus Atratus is confirmed. Lots of rumors with this here, but that pseudo Italian carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a coilus, a minus, or mule deer. As if anybody could check that. Striation of the larger muscle masses indicated infection from the strain HB. Take sample to confirm. It takes forever to turn. I learned it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what did that mean? Something. Uh-oh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub, sub civilians, that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's time, refugee Nero camp, protocol two dash seven states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're gonna do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. Crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes? Okay, okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. 
I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Where are their survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't... Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Okay, so we now learned that she didn't die at the camp. Climb the ladder, he gets down. Bash his brains in! Who's man? Um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all. about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna Go. be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Okay. Where the fuck is he? out there, O'Brien. Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, O'Brien. Get back to me. Chopper. 
wanted to see that long something then. Uh yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. Any remembrance? Is there what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened. She's still alive. No. No, I'm look, I'm not stupid, sir. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Or she died. I don't need to find any kiss. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. And finally, after days of Boozer getting his arm damn near burned off, we're bringing him bandages. Like ten days later. <laughs> Staying a step ahead of him? Hey, yeah. Barely. You gonna be up all night? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. I still miss the opening. We're fast traveling over there. I'm not riding the whole way across again. That taking them long rides across the map and putting me to sleep. Open up. Glad you're still breathing. Damn, it's one forty already. safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 
That's what they made me come back here for? Can I help you? Oh, I never found this dude she asked me to kill. Always asking me to kill somebody. Hey, how's it? You're going. How's the bike business going, Zanny? Thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by later. St. John out. He's got to be up on that tower. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? Did I just switch guns? No, I've still got my shit.
And we fast travel right back. As I got my cold and I Call of Duty's one thing I can stay up till five AM playing that. This is making me sleepy. Open up. It's Deacon. What the hell's the name of the drifter who keeps bringing these in? I can't believe how many freaks he's killed. Hey, my bad. What do you want? You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. Hey, Deacon, right? Hey, Zanny. Here, I How's got life it. in the shit, brother? Mercer. Okay, Deke. You stay safe out in the shit. You hear me? Get back to What can I get for you? Zanny. Bike's a real guzzler. Yeah, I swear okay. somebody's always getting beat up in this camp. Well, we covered a good portion of the map so far, so... What is the next story mission, anyway? We gotta keep clearing the areas. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, if you do want to see me play this again tomorrow, well actually, yeah, we can do this in the daytime and then tomorrow night we'll do the, the new uh, update for Call of Duty. Alright y'all, I'll catch y'all then. Be good. Just...